Thank yes. you very much for coming tonight, folks. Uh, yes. A nice summer evening. It's tough to break away. Except for me. Uh, visitors, anybody? Did you bring us food? Yeah, I was not in China. That's a, that's a faltering. <laughs> South Carolina. Oh, uh, Rick's looking good. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, uh, Mary passed out some papers uh, to you, and mm -hmm. one of them is, uh, is a note from Eric Knapp um, that has attached to it an email that was from uh, Gabe Duran to uh, Willie Fritz. Mm -hmm. And um, the, it seems to me that you know, our Labor Council sending a note to the first selectman, it's curious how that would get in the hands of Andrew Wall. Because um, he's a union president. But I, that this, is, this is a communication between, the, uh, between our Labor Council and the first selectman. The last person you would hand this to is our uh, is somebody at the union. So I don't know exactly how she got it, but I think it's inappropriate. I think I think most of the attorneys on the board of uh, selectmen would agree that even though this is not marked confidential and privileged, it is still confidential and privileged and should not have been shared if that's what happened. What exactly happened? This is a this is we are in the process. And this is I'll tell you a little bit more. Give give you a little more background. You'll find also. Uh, Article 11 of our um, bylaws for planning and zoning, which require us to do an annual review, which we began doing for the first time last year, created some issues. I've also included paragraphs from the um, uh, supervisory contract and the clerical contract, which includes the management rights, which I've highlighted. Um, uh, Mr. Duran left out some portions of it. Uh, related to regulate quality and quality of performance, which are, is in the uh, management rights currently. Uh, also, I've given you a copy of the paragraph that relates to a merit system, which I reminded you of before. You are in the process of, uh, or beginning the process of some uh, negotiations. And if there is any question about a merit system or any question about the right to perform reviews, it ought to be put in the language under management rights so that it's absolutely clear that, um, first of all, under our charter, we shall have a merit system, and you're obligated to get us there uh, and work with the union to do it. And then finally, the other, there's one other sheet there that you have, and this goes to a different subject altogether. This is the hearing procedure part, uh, section B, and it points out the first selection of the town of Clinton shall appoint one or more citation hearing officers, which uh, your first selectman has done. I wonder if, if, if anyone other than the first selectman knows who he uh, named to be the uh, hearing officer. Anybody else besides Lynn? Anybody guess that doesn't know? It's public record. No. It was said at the it was said at the zoning meeting on that. Right. Anyway. Lisa McDonald. Lisa McDonald has been named to be the hearing officer for the site, the ordinance site. Six months ago. And I guess that's the question is, am I the only one, given the history, that thinks that might not have been the most appropriate selection? That's all I have to say. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Anybody else? Uh, Kirk, regarding the, uh, the email and the Gabe stuff, uh, I gave it to Andrea because she came to me and said that they were going to go forward regardless, and the union had sent a letter, I don't know if you got the letter from the union, which I forwarded to Gabe, Gabe's comments, and I don't, I don't want to nitpick them up. explain what this is about? This is about the zoning board in their bylaws saying they, re, they have the review an annual basis performance reviews for their employees. Okay. And, and professionals. And technically, Julie's not an employee of the zoning board, first of all. And the other part of it is, regardless of management rights, you can read it one way or another. I, I, I have confidence in Gabe as one of the best labor attorneys in the state of Connecticut on his opinion that that it has to be negotiated. You can't just go forward, and regardless of what your what, bylaw says. What specifically has to be negotiated? Having a performance review of a union employee. Whether to do one or not? You cannot have a performance review evaluation of a union employee unless it's a negotiated item in the contract. Oh, okay. And the, and the contract says that. 
Just like management has a right to regulate performance. But, but. And that, and A, by the way, A left that part out. No, that's your interpretation. But he left that out. You're not a labor attorney. I know, but he left that out. That's okay. When we go to court for prohibited practice agreements by the union, zoning board's not going to be the one to get it filed against. It's going to be against me. You won't be there. I will, okay? I've been through this before. So, you, it, regardless, your bylaws mean nothing in the big picture, okay? The, the merit system in the charter means something, but unless we get the units to agree, which we're going to be trying to do through amendments to contracts, which Gabe is working on, it doesn't mean anything. So you just can't go forward because you think you can. And bottom line in the story is that there are labor laws, and we have to follow labor laws. I have a prohibited practice agreement against a file against me right now because of a stipended position that's been a stipended position, and it always has. And what the, that union particularly is, it's like the three musketeers, one for all, all for one. So, and the other thing with Julie, with potentially elevating her position. The union doesn't want anything to do with it. Because no, what's going to ha happen with the rest of them? Why don't the rest of them get elevated? And, and so I'm already in, and September 29th, I got the labor board coming down here. So I have to, I have to buy by what the labor council says. Um, and someone had this email a long time ago. I sent it to him and I actually talked to him in the parking lot. I told him you should call Gabe. I guess he did. That's okay. But you can't go forward with it. I unless think he has talked to Gabe. As of yesterday, he had. Or he's sending questions. Or he's, as of yesterday, he's he had. some communication. But anyway, you can't go forward until this gets hatched out. Otherwise, we're going to have a, 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 a grievance file against this. And for me, handing it to the unit, that's not an issue. It's not, it's not, there's no attorney client privilege on this. This is, this is the labor when, when, when an attorney sends you something, I mean, that's ridiculous. That you no, hand, that, hand that over to Kurt. To be honest with you, that's, um, it, it's not that clear cut. I'm protecting the interests of the town. Right. And the attorney represents typically the town, not the mm -hmm. So those can be. Well, it should also, it represents the town, but I don't think that should be handed over to the union. Here's an opinion of our attorney to hand over our attorney's opinion to the union. Seems to me to be inappropriate. Oh, that's fine. We've done it before, too. Well, it's a practice that I would urge well, you to, to not do. I mean, I don't. Well, otherwise, otherwise, you guys would have gone blindly into it, done what you thought you were going to do, and then we would have had a prohibitive practice agreement against us. Uh, the grievance uh, against. Uh, yeah. And it's right. expensive to defend the officer. Sure. Yeah. Right. The one that they already filed was going to get thrown out because we were, it's, been, it's past practice. This is not. This is something new that you guys are trying to implement that has never been done before. And you just can't go and do things because you, your bylaws say the bylaws have no bearing on the town of Clinton. That doesn't mean anything to the town of Clinton as a whole. And it's like the police commission bylaws. You guys can say whatever you want in your bylaws, but if it violates labor law or what's in union contracts, it can't be done. So, I, you know, that's why I, 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 public works trying to do bylaws. We got the bylaws in there. We had to be very careful how they were crafted that it didn't infringe upon anything that was in the contract, and that's, that's how they have to be done. So that's where that is. All right, move on. Um, what was the other? That was that. Uh, the hearing officer, Lisa McDonald. She, she put in, nobody else put in. Eric thought she was a good fit. She talked to her. She was appointed several months ago. I regard, regardless of what her the issue was, was the zoning board and this and that, she knows her stuff. And I have a problem with that. Um, and the ordinance does say, appointed by the first select. 